Real quick about your ancestor altar. Should never be in a bedroom or private space, like a bathroom. Facing north preferably would be the way to go. If not, it's okay, no big deal. And make sure you cleanse with Florida water or smudge with sage and have these five things. The first being a white cloth. The second being photographs. If you don't have photographs, use your ancestors' names written on the white candle glass or you can frame their names written down. Three is your plant. If you don't have a fountain, of course you can use a glass of water. You can also use a copper cup of water. Make sure your candle is always white. It could be tea, it could be a stick, or it could be a voltive. Doesn't matter, as long as it's white. Talk to your ancestors as if they're listening to you. Because they are. Now, when it comes to this white candle, the seven day candle, make sure that you remove labels. Labels are a big no-no. You want to always clean them with Florida water. No spiritual imprints of any kind. Any serial numbers that are written in ink or stamped on the glass can be wiped off with Florida water. Florida water is kind of like nail polish remover too, but it's a spiritual cleanser. Clean all of it, even the candle itself. Markers, I suggest the use of colors, blue, red, or black. They all have a significant color or significant meaning. Red is for passion. You can use for love requests or just for your ancestors in general because you are connected to them by blood. So you can ask them for what you want. If you're anxious about something, there's um, a love situation you can write your request on the glass in red so you can use them for love it doesn't hurt to drop a pin drop of blood of your own in a candle on the um, wax either if you're up to it if you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing don't do that you can write to your ancestors in blue as well blue is the color of peace it's about emotions relative to health as is the color green and black is primarily used as a protective color or if you don't have another color marker it's okay to use black it's all about intentions just be very cognizant of what you're doing and again you can write your ancestors names known and unknown as long as your blood connected this is what the red marker will represent for you aunties uncles loved ones deceased Holler back. Just want to build a stronger connection. I can go on your altar in lieu of having pictures. I hope you appreciate the video. Please share, like, and subscribe to the Voodoo Love Goddess. You can also follow me on Instagram.